let me see. Awaken Earth 42753 on fire. So that's like 50,000 on Awaken Fire. Slightly less on the Earth one, but more kills though. Holy fuck, dude. Like this one, Nolan House Special and the Flash Frozen Meat, they went down in value after my videos on them. But now they're back up again. The fucking best. You can't say that anything suck, dude. Because you have half my DPS. 25 item levels above me and half my DPS. You could be wielding a legendary staff made for druids that would increase starfall damage by 7,000%. You would still be beneath me. Except my challenge request? That, that's not something that I uh, need to accept myself. Once you request the invite, uh, Gurab is going to pop up on your add-on instantly. Just make sure you don't appear as offline. Add-on? That will, uh, like, when you trade someone on Classic Wrath of Lich King, it, and you trade gold, it converts it to euros, because there's so much RMT going on. So, like, they will put 12,000 gold in the trade window, and the add-on will tell you how many euros that is. <laughs> That's fucked up. Hey, I want to ask you about Vibrant Shards. Why are people buying them so much, like, in the morning? Someone bought almost 100k in two seconds. I don't get it. Why do they need so much? They don't. They're uh, manipulating the auction house. They're resetting the price. They buy all the cheap ones. Let's say they are, just for easy numbers, they're 10 gold. Most of them are 10 gold. They buy all the ones that are 10 gold, and they get an average uh, buyout price of 10 gold each shard, and then they can relist them for 15 gold, for instance. They reset the price on the auction house. It's a classic scenario of the rich getting richer, because you need a lot of gold to do something like that. But I was doing, I got a Shadowforge Bushmaster from Old Man, Rat of Lich and Classic, and actually sold for 10k. Yeah. I mean, the Shadowforge Bushmaster is a unique weapon, uh, considered uh, a super item from Old Man. So when Cataclysm comes, it's uh, going to be uh, extremely hard to get. And it also in high demand. There's any collectors out there, which there will be. Is everyone that can equip a gun? I'm gonna want it. Thank you for being so interactive, man. I hope your stream grows a lot. My stream will never appreciate that, dude. My stream will never ever grow. I've been streaming gold farming for uh, like eight years. <laughs> There's only a handful of people that gives a fuck about an old boomer, especially now with a mustache, farming gold. But I'm very content with that. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter at all. Frozen, I died? Ah, it's the lag excuse. What? Final Fantasy Andy, you never played WoW. Should I play Classic or Retail, my friend? I mean, I think long term, it's better to just jump on Retail. It's two completely different games. But if you think... If you think that there's a small chance that you're going to enjoy WoW in general, you definitely don't want to feel left outside of the retail whenever there's a new expansion coming next year, right? Everyone is hyped to play the new expansion. You're kind of like, meh, haven't played retail. Not so sure about that. However, there's in Classic, though, there's way less, way less things you have to worry about, right? But no, I would, I would jump into retail WoW. I would. The gold in Season of Discovery is going to be in very high demand between people that wants to buy gold for actual money, RMT, right? So they don't mind giving you 5 million gold in retail when you only give them 500 in Season of Discovery because they can sell those 500 gold on Season of Discovery for like $2,000, right? I tend to not be so honest anymore after the side profile comment, which you did not seem to like. I don't recall that. Oh, that's right. You said something like, student, you look like the actual Giga Chad meme. When you turn your head to the side and you can see your wild shoulders. Yeah, I recall that one. I don't like to be sexualized like that. DD. Do these items sell frequent and the actual loot appraiser value too? Items sell frequent. The last uh, times when I've done this farm... I've received way more than the Loot Appraiser shows you, because the Loot Appraiser doesn't take uh, item level and uh, additional stats into consideration. So if you get a ring, for instance, 
Even if you get a blue 4 to 4 ring, that could sell for 25,000 gold. The add on is going to tell you it's a 5,000 gold ring. The last time I could be ours to calculate the uh, actual gold per hour, it was 120. Across two hours, I made 240,000 gold, so 120 an hour. But it's obviously RNG as well, depending on what blues you get, how many blues you get. 